Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here, coming a brand new squad builder video. Today we have got a classic B-Bell squad builder. The next two aren't going to be hybrids, just classic. Hope you enjoyed them. Let's get into it. So, in goal we have got Pesachek, who was a pretty good goalkeeper. At times I felt like he didn't really put it away for a corner, as in a lot of deflection goals could happen. At times I got a little bit lucky with my defenders being so good. Well, not really, but yeah, I was a little bit lucky at times. But right back, we've got Carl Walker. Carl Walker's really good player, really good offensively, like just goes forward, comes back really well, very solid right back. Centre backs, we've got Koscielny and company. Now, Koscielny was good. He was a decent centre back. I would say I've used better in a way, and maybe he's a little bit overhyped. I don't know. Company was actually really good. He was a complete rock in the back again yeah he does lack a little bit of pace when you come up against best players you probably can't handle them but based on tackling he's one of the best i've used this year left back we got moreno and moreno again was really good don't be afraid he's five foot seven he's a very good player i would advise him defensive midfielders we got jan and Villa, and he's a player i'm used yet hence why he's in this squad really really good player actually like Maybe not the best player in the world, but if you're just starting off FIFA, definitely get him. He scored two goals, which is more than a defensive midfielder should get. Other defensive midfielder was Matic, and Matic wasn't as good as he was previous years, I don't think. I don't think he was as good this year as he was last year, but overall, still a really good CDM would still advise him. Right mid, we got Navas and we got Sterling, both pretty good players, like, again, left mid and right mid, unless they're, like, top quality, like Robin or someone like that, they're not really going to score you goals, but both ran down the wing well and assisted quite well, Sterling scored quite a nice goal, well, sort of, but behind the striker, we got Firmino, and Firmino was quite good, Firmino and Sturridge were actually really tired towards the end of the game, so that's the only criticism I can have of them both, they weren't exactly great fitness wise like going into extra time and stuff and towards the end but i ruled they were both really good players benimo scored three goals three assists that is really really good some of his goals weren't exactly most conventional seeing with storage around three of them were i shot landed to him which i guess is good positioning one was a cutback one was a proper goal and yeah that's all how the goals were so sorry if the goals weren't that great but what we're gonna do is go into goals and view part at the end Oh, um, no, 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 I'm sorry, sorry. Player, um, <laughs> I always forget to do this, player instructions. I'm just going to go through them quickly. If you want to see them, just pause it. The team I played, uh, I didn't play on defence, I just played on balance. The only thing I will say is I actually brought on Lacazette and he scored one goal for one of the games. He's actually quite good so far, the two games I've used him. But yeah, just going to go through it all again. Hopefully I remember to keep this in the video, but yeah, without further ado, we're going to go into goals and view part at the end, again.
Now that you've seen the goals win to main review part of the video, and this site actually almost cost 100k on the dart. If it did, I'd be quite amazed. But I had a record of four wins and one defeat. One of the defeats I was actually in full control of the game and lost 1-0 annoyingly. So yeah, but scored 13 goals. So 13's a good amount on this game. Like in FIFA 16, I would say 10 plus tends to be quite good. For me personally, you guys might score 20 goals in five games or something. I don't know, you guys usually are good players. But goals against 8, I usually think 5 or below is good, but uh, I guess in Cups you do concede more. But best player was Storage. I couldn't really decide. I could have said Company, maybe I could have said Czech, but I don't know. Uh, Jan and Via was quite good. Firmino was very good as well. But I thought, you know what, he was probably the game changer for me. Worst player was Navas. Again, like, I didn't really know who was good and who was bad in this site because it conceded 8 goals for a reason. Obviously it could be me defensively, but it conceded 8 goals so there had to have been something wrong with the defence. So maybe it was Koscielny. Could have been company. I rated company highly, but you never know. Like, he might have made terrible mistakes or his pace could have been an issue. But the top assist man was Firmino. Top goal scorer was Daniel Sturridge. Even though two were cutbacks and two were deflect goals, have to be in the right positions, which he was, I suppose. He also scored one cracker. It was a shame he was offside. But we did make one guy rage quit, so we might have been able to score one or two more goals. I rate this team an 81 out of 100, however. But one thing to keep in mind of this squad is actually two of these games went, well, one of the games went to extra time and the other went to penalties. So, even though it was technically 4 wins to 1, it's not as good as it seems. But even so, if you guys are better players than me, you can adjust it. Also, I do these score builders just to say what players I think are good or bad. It's more of an experiment in a way. But overall, if you did enjoy the video, then hit like once in a while. So, do subscribe for one see more. And yeah, it's been Woodenmark Mavia. See you guys!